Hi friends, this is Mohammad Jibran and welcome to our C language tutorials. In the previous video, I had explained you how the SGF or shortest job first algorithm works. And now in this video, we are going to write a program to implement that algorithm. We are not going to write the complete code over here. We are just going to use the previous code which we have which we had written for FCFS algorithm. So if you want to know what we are doing in this program or how this uh, uh, program works then please go and watch my video on uh, FCFS so that you can understand the code written over here. And uh, if you know what we are doing over here so let's get started with our uh, program in for the SGF. So as you all know in FCFS what we did is uh, we were storing the user uh, the process time or the burst time given by the user in the exe time array. So whatever the burst times were given for all the n processes were stored in exe time and we were executing those processes in the order they came to us. Uh, we did not bother whether the burst time is less or more or what. If the first process was having the maximum execution time we were still executing that even though we had a process at of uh, less burst time at the end we did not care about it but in SJF as you all know we need to uh, arrange our processes in the ascending order or we need to execute the first the smallest execution time process and then the next one with the greater burst time then the gre uh, next process with the more greater time so likewise we need to arrange the elements in the exe time array in an ascending order that's all what we want to do to our this uh, fcfs program just by tweaking it tweaking in, in that way we can get it done for what we want so in for so for that what we will do is we will take the elements and we will store that in our exe time array once we have all the elements we are going to swap the uh, elements in our array or we are going to arrange the elements in our array of uh, exe time okay so i hope you all know how to arrange the elements of an array in ascending or descending order if you don't know please go and uh, watch my video on ascending the elements of an array in uh, arranging the elements of an array in ascending or descending order so we are going to use one more for loop inside uh, a for loop so and we are going to use one more variable j so we are going to declare it now and one more variable say temp so what basically just to remind you we are going to compare all the elements in our exe time array with an another array of the same kind and we are going to swap we are going to check if we are having the uh, the greater number at the beginning so we are just going to swap it with the smaller number at the last so please have a look uh, that video will explain you it more uh, nicely how to do that so uh, okay let me just pause this video and i will just uh, write the code so this is all what you need to swipe our elements or to arrange our elements in an ascending order you need to add just these two for loops and one if condition uh, using this you can uh, arrange the elements in your array in ascending or descending order here we are going to arrange that in the ascending order so I have written this swapping code you so I think we are done so let's try to execute our program number of processes 3 and now the first time process let me give it as 25 second burst time as 4 and the third as uh, uh, 47 okay so now we have okay we'll give it as 2 so now we have the maximum at the first the second one as the uh, between first and second and the last one is having the less the least burst time so when the program execute if you see the burst time or the first process which got executed had the burst time 4 which we gave as the last it waited nothing and its total turnaround time was 2 seconds then the next process which got executed was process uh, with the burst time number 4 who waited for 2 seconds as this its burst time was 2 seconds and the turnaround time for this process was 6 seconds as it is 4 plus 2 then the last process 
to be executed was our third process with the burst time 25 which we gave as the first you see 25 we gave as first but it got executed last it's in ascending order and it waited for 6 seconds why because the first process worked for 2 seconds second process worked for 4 seconds and so that's why our third process had to wait for 6 seconds after that the turnaround time for the third process was 31 the average waiting time for all the process was uh, 2.66 and the turnaround time was 30 so this is how using just a simple change we could make our program work for both SJF and FCFS so uh, this is uh, what you just need to do I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching it